Hi, this is Gordon Parker from Michigan Tech, and in this video I'm going to talk about step response performance specifications, and in particular four things. Rise time, settling time, percent overshoot, and finally the time of the peak. So what we're going to do is define these things, look at them graphically with a crude hand sketch, and then we'll go into MATLAB and play around with a couple different transfer functions so that we can extract these things. Well, let's start with the rise time. So the rise time is, if I draw just a very crude sketch of a step response, uh, let's say I have a unit step input like so, and then the system's response goes like this. Okay, so the rise time is the time it takes that response to go from 90% to, or I'm sorry, from 10% to 90% of the final value. Now in this particular sketch, my final value is the same as the step input. If this was 1, for instance, then my DC gain for the system was 1. So the final value being 1, we can go over here at the 90% level and pick off a time and at the 10% level and pick off a time and then this delta T is the rise time. So that's 10% to 90% and you can define that differently that's just a common uh, a common case. Now let's do the settling time. Here again there's many different types of settling time. Sometimes we look at 1%, 2%, 5%, etc. Just depends on what the uh, performance specifications are. What we're going to do is look at this 1% case. Of course in my sketch it's going to be rather um, suspect if I can really get 1% so I'll exaggerate a little bit. What I'm going to do is draw in blue some bounds about that final value. There's a bound above the final value and there is one below. What the settling time is, is the time after which that red step response stays within the bounds and never leaves it. So in this sketch, that would be right there. And so this distance is the settling time. Now these two quantities are quite related. Uh, TP is the time that that peak occurs, so that's an easy one, and the percent MP is this distance from the final value up to that peak expressed in terms of, or with res as a percentage of, the final value. So now we've got TP figured out and we've got percent MP. So now let's go ahead and look at this in MATLAB and we'll use a couple different commands. We're going to use step info and we'll use the LTI view command. Two very different approaches to get this information. So let's look at G1 equal to a uh, second order transfer function. I'll use the transfer function command. So we'll have 25 in the numerator 1, 2, and 25 in the denominator. Let's take a look at that. Beautiful. And now we'll just use the step info command on G1. Great. Rise time, settling time, percent overshoot, the time of the peak. That's the bottom one, 0.6447. One note, though, on the settling time, that 3.9192, that's actually the 2% settling time, not the 1% that we talked about in the uh, previous notes. But that's all configurable within the step info command. Now let's go ahead and use LTI view and have it operate on G1. And there it is. Looks like a run-of-the-mill step response, but it's really not. If I right-click within that plot, I can pull up all different types of characteristics. Let's look at the peak response. There it is. If I hover over the blue dot, it tells me that the peak response occurs at 0.645 seconds and it has an overshoot of 52.7 percent. 
that corresponds quite nicely with what we got with the step info command. I can configure this thing quite a bit. If I go up to edit, viewer preferences, options, I can define how I want the settling time to be defined. Right now it defaults to 2%. I'll change it to 1. And the rise time is exactly how we defined it on the previous pages, 10 to 90%. So I'll leave that alone. Right click in here, characteristics, there's our settling time. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see things moving around better. Here's our step response outside the boundaries. These are 1% boundaries now. Outside the boundaries, outside the boundaries, just a little bit. And then right here, it enters the boundary and it never leaves for the rest of eternity. So that is our settling time, 4.58 seconds. It's a bit different than this value, but that's because this is the 1% settling time. If I change this back to the 2%, it automatically updates the plot, and lo and behold, 3.92 matches quite nicely with this. Now let me zoom back out, and we'll look at the very last quantity, and that was the rise time. So here's our 10% and our 90%. This distance right in here is the rise time. And according to the blue dot, it is 0.241 seconds. That corresponds beautifully with step info. Well, now let me exit out of LTI view. And what I'll do is create another transfer function that's not a simple second order transfer function, but something a little bit more interesting. So 500. We'll put a zero up there, so 500 times s plus 2. And in the denominator, I'll use the convolution command to multiply a couple second order systems. And let's see, I'll use 1, 2, 20, s squared plus 2s plus 20, and 1, 1, 25. Okay, very different from second order. And if I fire up LTI view with no argument this time, I get a blank palette. I'll go over to File, Import. And I'll grab both of these. I'll be able to pull them in from the workspace. And look at that. I can now compare both responses. This green one is actually G2. And I think if I click on it, it'll tell me that, sure enough. Whoops. And the blue one is G1. So notice that the G2 does not have that second order look to it. It's very non-second order, as it should be. It's fourth order. But MATLAB doesn't really care. So I'll say step info of G2. And it tells me all the nice, beautiful things. Rise time, peak time, overshoot, settling time, etc. And similarly, I can right click on here and pull up all those quantities. And of course, it does it for both now, G1 and G2. Settling time, G1, G2, it color codes things, it's all very nice. So this allows us to compare different responses, perhaps during the control design process, as we're uh, changing gains in the controller, for instance, we can examine quickly how it affects the system's response. Okay, so that's it. Um, just as a quick review, introduced four step response performance specifications, rise time, settling time, percent overshoot, and peak time. And then looked at how we can grab those quantities from MATLAB using the step info command and also LTI view. So again, my name is Gordon Parker from Michigan Tech, and thanks for watching.